Welcome back to Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. I'm your host. Frog. Frog. Frog? Frog. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Huh? Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you, and uh, you're only slightly taller than I am. Anyway, being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? How's the atmosphere up there? Big Got any interesting day. weather? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. Um, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I am of average height for frogs. Mm. Uh, can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? About your eye. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, uh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. Uh, you put it on for fashion. Kind of. Huh? Detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. There's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. I don't love... know what that is, but we gotta find it. Oh, I love the Toad Investigation series. I can't believe you haven't heard of it. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night, and that's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. I think questioning me, huh? Uh, yes, about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Mm. Um... It's nothing against the wizard, but... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. I hear Carlos basically lives in his shop anyway. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. Don't you mean a pirate boy? A pirate boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do good, a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? Uh, well, I do actually have some building supplies on me. Hey, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. So oh, great. What exciting news. Uh, I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. <laughs> hey, 
Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there is no need, really. Shh. I won't hear it. Please take a money. Got one money. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow. Really? Me? A pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Got a hook? Dang, I feel bad because we've got to give it away. Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. <laughs> All good. Enjoy the hook. <laughs> All right. Five money. We are rolling in it. Dad? Hook. Ralph. Boom. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus. Needed building supplies? Done. Notes. Loves pirates. Eye patch is cosmetic only. A private boy wants to renovate. Thinks I'm too small. I'm not. That's suspicious. Might be my dad. That's <laughs> suspicious. All right. All right, we gotta update our logbook. We gotta update our logbook. Ralph. Is he suspicious? Yeah. I suspect him of potentially being my dad. I'm back. You're back. Yup. I found you a hook. Oh my stars. Thank you, I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. I would love to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay, I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding, our society is really progressive, and often things are actually free. It's a sign of my gratitude. Please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Oh, it's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone, too. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Oh, we approach. She's wearing a dress from uh, the the zebra shop. Huh? La, la, la. Hello. Hello, frog. I'm gonna break character real quick here, but that's what you do whenever we go out looking for frogs. Hello, frog. Welcome. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yup. I've been practicing all day and night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yeah. I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yes, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very... Healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yes, that's uh, true. Sorry. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper, welcome to my hair salon. Sniff, sniff. That should be 100 money. Uh. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? 
I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Uh, do you mind if I... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh boy, do I love questions. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Huh? I'm sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Uh, I was uh, asking about the wizard. Oh, yes, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Too cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything, and I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood last night and... Th uh, bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. This is make me a snitch. I think so. Rat. Oh boy, I love questions. Uh, about last night. What were you doing when the braid was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Huh? Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. Huh? You were outside when the parade was destroyed. Mm, yeah. Did you see anything? Oh, yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I'd like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I'm above the law. Uh, oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Oh. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were at the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number, hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay, we all get extorted every now and then. Mm, yeah. Anyway, come back when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Um, actually, now that you mention it, uh, rummages through notebook. I think I have some money. Hey, Mary. Hey, detective, how's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. <gasps> Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in town. Ibani is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. Got a phone number. Touching. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggy Wood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait till the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Mary. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs five money. Done. Notes. 
sings really loudly all the time, everyone soundproof their houses, wants to be a big star, is extorting me, I have never been extorted before, what a thrill. <laughs> I guarantee the wizard is a better singer. Here we go. Hmm, who should I call? Mysterious number. I do have a friend to call. <laughs> Bonnie. Barney, I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobster cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? Uh, I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened. No, last I didn't night. do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, do what? Whatever you're calling about, it wasn't me. Are you sure? Uh, what did I do? Uh, last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. I didn't destroy anything if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Yeah. Mm, what was her name? Uh, oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. Yeah, it must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Oh, I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Yeah, well, yeah. I delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was at from Wizbe.net headquarters. Oh, that sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before. Yeah, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. This wasn't for her. Hmm. Do you know what was in the package? Yeah, some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two of a pair of shoes. Uh, did you get a good look at them? Yeah, it was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Even the face. <laughs> Weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Yeah, me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. I remember a blue dress with stars on it. Oh, I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Uh, you know if there were any clues left behind a signature on the delivery slip or something? Yeah, I ain't getting them to sign it. I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumble off before I know this. At the entrance to the woods, you say. I'll check it out. Well, you didn't even say bye. What an a-hole. Bonnie. Bonnie. Motive. Accidentally crashed his van into the decorations, drove away without realizing. Notes. Cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver had me on speaker. I should search near the entrance to the woods. And you know, he said, who is this Noodle? Noodle was the sheep from the first game who appeared in episode two of our series. <laughs> For that one. Glasses. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Their glasses. Got some glasses. To see with. Yes, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. This is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. Should be in the house near Carlos's shop. Boom. Glasses. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. 